All right guys, so today I'm doing a video on the Natco Skylark e-bike and uh, do a little different, different video today. I'm doing all of the footage here from the Insta360 Go 3. I'll talk a little bit about um, the accessories I used to make get the footage for this review in case you want to, you know, sort of figure out how I do these kind of videos. All right, so this is a pretty basic folding electric bike, 16-inch uh, wheels. It's got some sort of like uh, mag style wheels there, but uh, nothing really meant for off-roading. Uh, the tires are like maybe two inches wide, and we have some plastic fenders. Um, yeah, pretty much basically like a city commuter. You want to you want to probably stick to sidewalks, uh, bike paths, that kind of thing. Again, not really for off-roading. Uh, the motor back here is a 36 volt, 350 watt motor. We've got a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery, and uh, this does go up to 20 miles an hour. Got a rear rack back here. Uh, the bike weighs about 50 pounds, and the total uh, carrying capacity of the bike is about 250 pounds. Rear tail light in the back. Got our front headlights. Have a rear disc brake here, and then in the front we have a drum brake. Over here on the battery, there's a key. That's how you turn on and off the bike, and then when you turn it on, it locks into place. We have a look at the uh, seat, pretty basic. It's uh, okay. I, if you want something more comfortable, you probably want to switch this out, but you can lift up the seat here so you can remove the battery. Quick look at the handlebar. You got your brake levers. Uh, this is the red button here is for turning on and off the pedal assist. So you can just pedal with no motor assist and press this button, it'll turn on the motor assist. You have three levels of battery right here. It's full currently, and you have a half twist throttle that's always active. Headlight button here to turn the headlights on and off. And you have a horn. Uh, the handlebar does retract here, and it does fold down over here. And then the bike folds in the middle over here in this latch. There's a safety here you can pull up, and that's to uh, release the uh, folding mechanism. Seat height is adjustable as well. The pedals are like a shorter, smaller type here, plastic, but they don't fold down, so you might want to switch these out for a foldable pedal if you want to uh, you know, make the bike a little more compact. Pretty standard uh, cable management here. Obviously to fold the bike down, it's a little bit longer, and you have this wrap here so it's nice and neat. All right, so I'm going to be gathering some footage here. We're riding the bike around. I'll talk about how it rides. Um, I'm using the uh, selfie stick here and a little attachment to the handlebar to get some uh, sort of outsider perspective and also some uh, footage from the magnetic neck mount uh, so you can see some sort of uh, first person perspective of the bike ride. All right, so the ride on the Skylark is pretty smooth, even though there's no suspension on the front or the rear. Uh, if you stick to mostly sidewalks and streets and stuff, smooth surfaces, I think you'll be okay. Um, you may be able to get away with just uh, maybe like a softer seat. Uh, the seat on this one is a little on the firm side and there's no seat post suspension either. So you could uh, go with like maybe uh, a more cushier seat and a seat post suspension and you should be good to go in terms of riding it around. I have my tires at uh, almost close to max pressure just because I want a nice smooth ride. And uh, if you want something uh, in terms of um, a cushioning ride from the tires on rougher surfaces, you may want to air down the tires a little bit. So the acceleration on this uh, motor, the 350 watt motor, is fairly modest. It does take a uh, about 10-15 seconds to get up to speed, and it looks like this one is speed limited to about 15 miles an hour. So obviously those of you that are speed demons out there, you probably want to look for something else in a, in a much higher price range. Overall, the ride's really quiet. There's hardly any rattles or noises uh, coming from the bike at all. Even the motor is pretty quiet because it is fairly low powered. The brakes work uh, as expected very well. Uh, given the sort of low power of the bike and slower speed of the bike, uh, the front drum brake is not an issue. I was able to stop the bike without any issues. Overall, the frame, very solid. It's lightweight. I think it's like uh, carbon steel, so uh, a little bit lighter than expected for a bike in this sort of size. I don't know, 50 pounds. It's more like a, the weight of a scooter. So when you're on pedal assist, the bike does go pretty much from zero to you know full speed. 
uh, and, and it pretty much stays there. Even if you pedal a little bit slower, you just pretty much get the full power. If you want less power, if you want to go a little bit slower, you can just uh, uh, pull the throttle a little bit. So twist the throttle maybe like halfway and you'll go about approximately half the speed or three quarters away for three quarters of the full speed. And so that's a way of, a good way of controlling the speed without pedaling. Overall, really nice bike. I think that uh, if you're looking for a kind of a cruiser bike, you know, for parks, bike paths, that kind of thing, not too fast, not too noisy, nice smooth ride, not too many rattles. This one is definitely going to check all those boxes. So there'll be a link down in the video description if you guys want to check out the bike. Now for those of you that are interested in the filming of this video and the equipment I used, I did use the Insta360 GO 3 as the main camera, pretty much actually the only camera, so all the footage is from this camera. Now uh, at the beginning I had it inside the action pod like this with the flip up screen and then I took it out and attached it to the uh, one of the magnetic mounts that's included here. I uh, have an additional like setup here with some ability to sort of turn the uh, mount sideways and so it's kind of get, gives you a better angle versus if you don't have this then you can't actually point the camera towards yourself. And of course I'm using the Insta360 selfie stick, this is the standard selfie stick I believe. And then of course the um, this is the handlebar mount, I think this is for the motorcycle, I think it's the motorcycle handlebar mount. I put a link on like, all these things down in the video description. Now these parts here, you just need something that's going to be able to turn the uh, camera at an angle so it's pointing back towards the selfie stick or back towards yourself so you can get footage of the bike. But that's pretty much all I use for this video. And I'll link everything down in the video description. That'll cover for this one. Got any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.